So these are the instructions to my Mother's Day theme heart pop-up card. So I've already started with my card base. My card base is Cricut Craft Board. On the inside, I've already adhered my mats. Now my mat is Cricut Foil Poster Board. I put it in an embossing folder and embossed it using my embossing machine. There are score lines on my mat. These are there to let me know where I'm supposed to be gluing my mats. So let's start with the pop-up heart. I basically have five hearts. The one in the center is going to be the largest one. So I've got this foiled cardstock. So it's an inset layer on the inside of my heart. I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to do that on the other side as well. So the middle heart is my largest heart. And then on either side of it, I'm going to have the second size down. Then on the outer edge, I'm going to have the yellow. I want to stack them up so that the bottom is the same shape stacked up on top of one another. So I want to make sure they're in the right direction. So I'm just going to flip it over to show you. See this one, the shape at the bottom isn't quite the same. I have to flip it over and there you have the exact same shape. I'm going to do that for all the pieces, put them in order so that I'm attaching them the way they're meant to be. So then I have these three pieces. One of them doesn't have a tab. The other two have tabs but on opposite ends. You want to make sure that you have them again in the right direction. These, when they're stacked up on top of one another, the tops match exactly. If you have one backwards, for instance, it won't match up with the rest of the tops. So this one will go to the front, this one goes in the middle, and this one goes towards the back. I'm taking my first piece and I'm sliding I'm sliding my pieces so that they all fit while I'm at it, just because it'll make it a little bit easier. I'm going to fold this tab right at the base like so, and I'm going to do that at the other, on the other side as well. Just fold it down like that. So now I'm going to take my second piece and I'm just going to insert it in the next series of slits. And then I'm going to take the third one, so it's the largest one, and I'm going to insert it in the third row of slits. And then you're going to take the next one, just slide it into position as well. And then the last one, so now I have them all in position, and when I just push down, they all lay flat. Okay, so this is my card base, and this is where I'm going to be inserting the tabs for my pop-up. So I have one of my little tabs at the front here on the right-hand side, and I have one of my tabs at the back on the left-hand side. And I have my two cloud-like pieces. I'm going to collapse my heart, and I'm going to slip that tab into that little cut out that's on my cloud-like piece. And then on the other side, I'm going to insert the tab into the slit that's on the other piece. And so I have my finger on the bottom on both tabs, the score lines that are telling me where to place my cloud-like pieces on the mat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully collapse my shape again. So now I'm putting glue on the bottom of that cloud-like piece that's on the right-hand side putting a little bit of glue under the tab too. Very carefully, propping my piece back up and making sure that it's exactly within the score lines that are on the card base. And then I'm going to do the same with the other side. So I've just put glue all over that cloud-like shape and a little bit underneath that tab. And I am bringing my card up and placing it so that it's on the score lines that are on my card base. And so when you open the card, those hearts pop up. So these are the pieces for the front of my card. So this is the wheel that has the messages on it. I have a very small brad and I'm just putting it in the center. Then I have this small circle that I'm putting underneath. I'm going to open up my brad, but I'm gonna use my Cricut tool to create a little space between the brad and that circle because I want this to be able to move quite freely. And then I'm going to put foam tape but just on the back of that tiny little circle. You could use foam dots 
foam tape, whatever, will elevate it a little bit so that it's easier for it to turn. So I'm going to release the backing on my foam tape. I have score lines that are the exact same shape as my scalloped circle. So I'm just going to place my shape so that it's within those score lines. And then I'm going to press down on the middle. Now keep in mind, only this little circle underneath that's glued down. Normally, this is where I would get out my foam tape and layer it up to give a little bit of space for my wheel to turn. What I've decided to do instead is I'm stacking up three layers of these triangles. So I have three triangles glued together, one on top of the other. And I'm just going to glue them into the corners like so. So I've already done two of them and I'm just going to do the two others. Then I'm going to glue on my card topper. The flowers are a print and cut. And then I added the text and all the embellishments. The filigree and the text are vinyl and I've just applied the vinyl to the card. I'm going to put glue on the four triangles and just glue my card cover just to the corners. And I'm glue my card topper to the cover of my card. I'm just making sure that there's an even border all the way around. 